pom.xml. What exactly is pom.xml? Any project must have a pom.xml file. POM stands for Project Object Model. POM is the Maven project descriptor just like your web.xml in your Java EE web application or if you've used AND in the past, it's just like your build.xml in any AND project. It defines your project structure and among many other things, it helps you define your build process. For example, do you want to execute a test case? What Java version do you intend to use? when it builds a project. What should be the final name of the build jar or war file? Should it package the code as a jar or war file or should it deploy the war file after the code is compiled and project? These are some of the examples that you define in your pom.xml. Why do we need pom? Enterprise level projects typically depend on a variety of open source libraries. So consider a scenario where you want to add log4j to your application logging. To accomplish this, you would go to log4j download page, download the jar file and put it in your lib folder or add it to your project's class path. As you may all know already that there are a couple of problems with this approach. First is, after you have downloaded the jar file, then you also need to download the other jar file that log4j depends on. For example, log4j depends on common.jar file. So to add this common.jar file, you would again go to the commons, Apache Commons uh, web page, download the file and check the jar file in SVN and then dump it in your lib folder. And if it commons.jar depends on something else, you would do the same thing again and when it time to upgrade the log4j to a newer version we go through the same hassle of downloading each and every jar file over and over again and the last thing that you will know is that uh, this kind of project is uh, very difficult to share the jar file across the teams so uh, to address all these problems maven provides declarative dependency management with this approach you declare your project's dependency in an external file called pom.xml and maven will automatically download those dependencies and hand them over to your project for the purpose of building testing and packaging 